Hi, boys and girls. Reverend Diane here from Children's Church. Welcome back for another week of Faith Community Kids Online. I'm so glad that you're here so that as a church family, we can worship Jesus and learn his word in the Bible together. And you guys, we have an exciting new video and lesson plans for you today. But before we go there, let's check in with our friend, Faithful. Hi, boys and girls. It's so nice to meet you. I'm so glad to be making new friends here in our online children's church experience. I think we should all say hello to each other right now. So in the comments below, type your name and leave a fun emoji to say hello to all our faith community friends. And maybe some new friends here for the first time. If you're not sure how to do this, let your parents help you. Are we ready? Sing along. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, dear friends. And how do you do? Wow, welcome everybody. I'm so glad you joined us because we have a super awesome lesson prepared for you. It's about a girl who had to be brave in a really scary situation. Have you ever been afraid or felt alone? I sure have. But in today's lesson, we are going to learn that when we are afraid or when we feel alone, we can always count on Jesus because he makes us brave. So put on your listening ears. Come on, let me see them. Great job. Are we ready? Here we go. Hi friends, I am so excited to go on a Bible adventure. Are you ready to come with me? Yay, but before we go see Emily and Shine, it's time for Prop Talk. Okay friends, I have one of my very favorite things here today. Are you ready to see what it is? Oh, me too, okay. <gasps> what are these? I just love blowing bubbles, don't you? Yes, they are so much fun. I can't wait to blow bubbles and pop them and it's gonna be so much fun. <sighs> Friends, they just told me that I have to share my bubbles with you. But I don't wanna share my bubbles. I'm gonna blow some bubbles, but they're just for me. They're not for you. I'm gonna blow my own bubbles. No, no, you can't see them. These are for me. Friends, am I showing faith when I don't share my bubbles with you? No, it wasn't very nice, was it? I just don't really want to share my bubbles. I'm just worried that if I blow my bubbles for you that I'll run out and then I won't have any more and I just really love bubbles. But friends, I guess if I have faith, then that means that there will be enough bubbles. And even if we run out, we could probably go get some more bubbles. Will you guys pray with me that I'll be able to share and obey? Okay, show me your praying hands. Okay, bow your heads and close your eyes. We're gonna talk to God together. God, please help me show faith by sharing and obeying, even when I'm kind of worried it won't be fun for me. God, thank you so much for my friends. Help me show I care for them by sharing my bubbles. In Jesus' name, amen. Friends, my heart feels so much better. Thank you for praying with me. I think I'm ready to share my bubbles now. Are you guys ready to see them? Okay, I'm gonna blow a lot of bubbles and this time they're just for you. <gasps> Aren't they fun? Can you catch them? Catch him! Great job, friends! It was so much more fun when I decided to share them with you. All right, friends. Well, now it's time to go on a Bible adventure. Are you guys ready? Shake your hands high in the sky. Let's go! On your mark, get set, go on a Bible adventure. So much in the Bible for me to know on my Bible adventure. 
I want to know that God is real. I want to know how I could be his friend. I want to know who Jesus is. I want to find out what the Bible's all about. Hey! So many ways that I will grow on my Bible adventure. I'm gonna learn my memory verse. I'm gonna pray and talk to God. I'm gonna sing new songs to God and keep singing the songs all week long. Oh, do 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 la 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 la. On your mark, get set, go on a Bible adventure. Church is a fun place we can go on a Bible adventure. Wiggle my waggle! Hi friends, I'm Emily. Shine the Star sent me the question, how do you show faith? I'm going on a Bible adventure to find out. Shake your hands high in the sky if you'll go with me. Woohoo! Let's put on our adventure bags. <gasps> Woohoo! <laughs> Wee! Hiya, friends! Hi, Shine. We're getting ready for our Bible adventure. Did you pack your picture passes? Not yet. What's in my trunk? <sighs> Oh, I know. The first one is something that has numbers on it and tells the time. Friends, which picture pass is it? <gasps> the clock! <laughs> Open your adventure bags. <laughs> okay, this one's inside your head. You think and remember with it. Hmm. You're right as a green light! <laughs> the brain! Put it in your adventure bags! Now for the last one. When you add water and sunshine, it'll grow. Hmm, what could it be? Seed grows! We've got them all! Count them with me, friends! One, two, three! Let's zip our adventure bags together! Now, now it's, it's time, time to, to fly! fly. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Shine, I read the question, how do you show faith? But I don't know what faith is. Faith is trusting and believing. Trusting and believing? Maybe our picture passes will help. We have a clock, a brain, and a seed. Oh, Shine, I still don't get it. Then let's watch a story from the Bible that's all about faith. The Bible is God's book for you. You can trust. It's right and true. <gasps> Abraham's Big Test. That's from the book of Genesis. I've heard of Abraham before. He was a real person who lived a really long time ago. Friends, maybe Abraham can show us what faith means. <laughs> God promised Abraham a son, and from that son, many descendants, who would bless the whole world. But Abraham and his wife Sarah were too old to have children. Twenty years went by. Still, Abraham trusted God's promise. When he was 100 and Sarah was 90, God reminded them of his promise. Sarah was going to have a baby. When their son was born, Sarah was so joyful that she laughed. <laughs> God has brought me laughter, she said. So they named their son Isaac, which means he laughs. When Isaac was a boy, God tested Abraham by telling him to take Isaac to Mount Moriah and kill him. 
as a sacrifice to God. Abraham was confused, but still he trusted God. Isaac carried the wood, and Abraham held the knife and torch. Together they climbed the mountain. Where is the lamb for the sacrifice? asked Isaac. God will provide it, Abraham replied. Abraham arranged the wood on an altar, tied up Isaac, and laid him on the wood. As he raised the knife to kill Isaac, an angel called his name. Abraham! Don't hurt the boy, the angel cried. God knows you trust his promise. Look, there in the bushes, a ram is caught by its horns. Sacrifice that instead. So Abraham sacrificed the ram instead of his son. He called the place God will provide, because God provided the sacrifice. Just as God had said, his promise came true. <laughs> Did you see how Abraham trusted and believed? Yeah, God told Abraham that he was going to give him a son. Abraham believed God, and God kept his promise. Abraham trusted and believed God, so he obeyed God to show faith. Obey? <gasps> Obey! How do you show faith? I show faith every day when I trust and obey. <laughs> Wee! That's the answer to the question. I wonder if Blinky and Cloudette know about faith. I don't know. I'll go find out. And I'll find out about these picture passes on our Bible adventure. Come on! <laughs> oh, that Abraham, he sure showed some faith. Oh, hi, Emily. Hi, guys. Look at this. What is it? What is it? I just learned in my favorite book, the Bible, about a man who showed a lot of faith. So did we. What? You did? Yeah. Friends, who do you learn about with Emily? It was Abraham. But we still don't know what it really means to show faith. Faith. Hmm. Let me see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Faith means trusting and believing. That's what Shine said. But how did Abraham trust and believe? Remember when God made a promise to Abraham? Yeah. God told Abraham that he would give him a son, even though Abraham and his wife Sarah were too old. But he had faith. He trusted and believed God the whole time. And God gave him a son when he was 100 years old. That reminds me of one of our picture passes. <laughs> Count them with me, friends. One, two, three. Great. Now, which one has numbers on it and tells the time. It is the clock. A clock reminds you to show faith in God by waiting, even if it takes a long time. I think I need a Bible verse to help me remember to trust God while I wait. Oh, oh I have one. <laughs> Friends, wiggle your ears if you're ready to learn a verse with me. I'm wiggling my ears. Are you wiggling yours? OK, watch first. Okay. Psalm 3114. I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God, you are my God, you are my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, repeat after me. Okay. Psalm 3114. Psalm 3114. I trust. I trust. In you, Lord. In you, Lord. I say, I say, you are my God, you are my God, you are my God! <laughs> you are my God, you are my God, you are my God! <laughs> <laughs> okay, great job, friends. Now, let's do the whole verse together. Yeah. Psalm 31, 14. I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God, you are my God, you are my God! <laughs> Jump and jambalaya! When I have to wait, I'll trust God. He is my God! Trusting God is a way to obey. That reminds me of the question, how do you show faith? I show faith every day when I trust 
and obey. <laughs> I'll remember that on our Bible adventure. Bye, guy. See ya. <laughs> Come on. Ooh. I can't share. It's just a box anyway. But, and Mr. Stonsa, you had to. <laughs> Blinky, what's in that box? Oh, all right already. Oh la la, bubbles. Let's play bubbles. No, no bubbles. Why are you being so selfish? I just super de duper love bubbles. If I share, you guys will use it all up. And I'll have to wait forever. Wait? For what? Well, uh, to get more bubbles, of course. But Mr. Stone told you to share. Yeah. And he said he'd give me more after they're all gone. So what's the big deal? What if Mr. Stone forgets? Then I'll never get any bubbles. Blinky, you need to have some faith in Mr. Stone. Trust, believe, obey. Trust, believe, obey? God is so good. He gave you Mr. Stone to take care of you. Yeah, God did give me Mr. Stone to take care of me when Mommy's busy. I know he loves me. I really do trust him. But I'll be so sad if I don't get more bubbles. Abraham felt like that too. He knew God loved him. He trusted God. But do you think Abraham wanted to give his only son back to God? No way. That is too sad. Abraham shouldn't do that. Abraham did do it because he had faith. He believed, trusted, and obeyed God. Shine. Abraham lived a long time ago. That's why he could be so brave and obey. I'm just a little bug. I can't do it. You can because God put a tiny faith seed in your heart when you ask Jesus to be your leader. It'll grow every time you remember God is real and loves you. I think I feel that faith seed growing right now. I can trust and believe God. We, oui. Claudette. We, oui, we. Oui. I'm gonna share all my bubbles with you guys. I'll show faith in God by trusting Mr. Stone and obeying. Yay! Yay! Well, now we know what the clock's for. We show faith by trusting and believing in God, even when we have to wait. But what about the other two? Say them with me, friends. A brain and a seed. Hmm. <gasps> Do you hear that? It sounds like it's coming from Mr. Music's singing studio. Let's go! Mr. Music! Oh boy, I'm sure glad that you're here. We've got to ask you a question. Ask away. How do you show faith? I show faith every day when I trust and obey. Yeah, that's the answer. And Guy the Bible Guy taught us this verse to help. Psalm 31, 14. I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God, you are my God, you are my God. <laughs> wow, that verse reminds me of a man in the Bible named Abraham. Yakety yo-yos, we know about him. Do you remember when God asked Abraham to give his son Isaac back? I do remember that part. It was sad and kind of scary. Yes. But Abraham had faith in God, so he obeyed God. Mr. Music, why did Abraham have faith to obey God? Because Abraham remembered that God kept his promise to give him a son. Remember! That reminds me of one of our picture passes. Whew. Count with me, friends. One, two, three. 
Now, which picture pass is it? It's something inside your head. You think and remember with it. <gasps> the brain! Abraham used his brain to remember the promise God kept. When Abraham was scared or worried, he remembered what God did before and believed that God would take care of him again. Can we do that too? Sure you can. In fact, I know a song that'll help. Friends, clap your hands together if you'd like to sing a song with me. <laughs> I'm clapping my hands. Are you clapping yours? <laughs> do you want to sing it from the beginning? Yeah. OK, here we go. Repeat after me. OK. I want faith like Abraham. I want faith like Abraham. When I can't, I know God can. When I can't, I know God can. Why should I be scared or worried? Why should I be scared or worried? I know that my God is with me. I know that my God is with me. That was great. Here we go. <laughs> I can trust my God. I can trust him and obey. I can trust Jesus. I can trust him and obey. F -f -f -faith. F -f -f -faith. F -f -f faith F -f -f faith That was great. <laughs> Here we go. When a problem comes my way. When a problem comes my way. I can look to God and pray. I can look to God and pray. And why should I be scared or worried? Why should I be scared or worried? I know that my God is with me. I know that my God is with me. Yeah! <laughs> I can trust my God. I can trust him and obey. I can trust Jesus. I can trust him and obey. I can trust my God. I can trust him and obey. I can trust Jesus. I can trust him and obey. F -f -f -faith. That was great! Now, stand up on your feet to worship God with singing, music, and dancing. <laughs> Jesus loves me for 
I'm gonna run, run, run to his love, love, love. I'm gonna sing, sing, sing to God's son. I'm gonna shout, shout, shout the name of Jesus. He is the one I trust. I know that he is with me every day He's by my side He hears me when I pray Jesus, I trust in him I'm gonna run, run, run To his love, love, love I'm gonna sing, sing, sing To God's Son I'm gonna shout, shout, shout About faith? Sure do. Guy the Bible Guy taught us a verse about faith. Say it with me, friends. Psalm 31, 14. I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God, you are my God, you are my God. <laughs> so faith means you'll trust God and believe he's always your God. Yeah, and the verse helps us remember the answer to the question. Ask us the question, Shine. Ask us the question. How do you show faith? I show faith every day when I trust and obey. <laughs> we And the picture passes? <gasps> Count with me, friends. One, two, three. <laughs> the clock helps us remember to trust and obey God even when we have to wait a really long time. <laughs> and the brain helps us remember what God did before, so we can trust and believe God now. <laughs> but Shine, what about the seed? When you choose Jesus as your leader, you get a teeny tiny seed of faith in your heart. Well, if it's so tiny, how will it help me trust and believe God more? Like a seed, faith grows. Every time you trust, believe, and obey God, it's like giving water and sunshine to your faith seed. Well, what'll a tiny faith seed grow up to be? It'll grow into kind, loving actions. When your faith grows big and strong, your actions will help other people trust, believe, and obey God, too. God promises to help you grow your faith. Pray to God, and he'll keep that promise. Let's do that right now. OK, bow your head and close your eyes. We're going to talk to God together. Dear God, help us to show faith. Give us patience and help us remember the promises that you've kept and grow our faith seed. In Jesus' name, amen. <gasps> Great giggling geckos, it's time to go. We'll see you next time for another Bible adventure. Bye-bye, friends.
Welcome back, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's Bible lesson. Today we learned through the story of Jesus feeding over 5,000 people that when our bodies go without food, we need to eat, right? So when we eat, we nourish our bodies with vitamins and nutrients to help our bodies to grow big and strong. And just like our bodies need food, our spiritual hearts need spiritual food too. God's word in the Bible tells us that Jesus is the bread of life. And when we spend time with God in prayer and read God's word in the Bible, we are filling our spiritual hearts with Jesus, the bread of life. And when we fill our spiritual hearts, our faith grows big and strong. And then we're strong enough to help others to know about Jesus too. Would you guys like to feed your spiritual hearts with Jesus, the bread of life? Let's pray today and ask Jesus to help us to remember to put time aside during our busy schedules to spend time with him in prayer and in his word. Would you guys pray with me right now? Just wanna to speak to all the parents in the room. Just take your child's hands right now and just lead them in prayer as I pray. All right, you guys, all your eyes closed and heads bowed, let us pray. Father God, we thank you today for our Bible lesson. We thank you that you give us direction and instruction in our word, on how we, in your word, on how we should live. Father, I ask you right now that the words that we learn together in our Bible lesson would be hidden in our hearts so that we could know how to live the way you want us to live. And I pray today, Father, that during our busy schedules with school and after uh, school activities that we would remember and put you first, Lord God, that our time in prayer and reading your word in the Bible is important. Help us to remember to do that, Lord, so that we can grow our faith big and strong and that we can grow our relationship closer and closer to you. I thank you today, Lord God, that you draw us to yourself and that you want to spend time with us. I pray that during our time with you, we would learn to hear your voice and hear your instruction so that we can live in a way that pleases you and that we could be a blessing to other people in our family and in our schools and everywhere we go. We thank you today, Lord God, and we give you all praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen, you guys. I'm so glad that you joined us again for another week learning together God's word and worshiping Jesus. And I just want to encourage you, make time this week. Don't forget, read your Bible and pray with your family. Spend time with Jesus. And I just want to remind you that Pastor Gary and Reverend Doreen and all the elders and the teachers of Faith Community Church are praying for you and we love you. God bless you and have a great week.